You summoned me, Master Seo. Welcome home. I wish we could greet you with better news. Despite using every avenue available to us, we are no closer to finding Lord Vivicar. Actually, I believe we are. A common thread binds all the plague victims. The loss of Parcanus Tark at Malachor III. Vivicar's influence forced the sick masters to relive their failures on Malachor. This is revenge. Personal revenge. Only one man would have that much anger and pain. The man who was left behind. I believe Lord Vivicar is Parcanus Tark. Jedi, Parkanus is dead. Far from it, Jarek. Juan? I told those Padawans to keep an eye on you. You must rest. No, my pupil, my fellow Jedi, deserves to hear the truth about Malachor. You're ill, Master Yuan. Don't speak more than you have to. Malachor Three isn't just strong in the dark side. The planet is the resting place of the Sith Lord, Terak Moraj. Our work on Malachor woke Moraj's spirit. One by one, we fell under his power. The things we did still haunt me. Somehow you got free of Morhage's power. Yes. Together we managed to break his control, but at a terrible cost. Parcanus was the youngest and weakest. We had to abandon him to Malachor's darkness. His sacrifice allowed the rest of us to escape. But it seems he survived and has taken Morhage's dark path. You couldn't have predicted this. I must make amends. I have a plan to help you find Vivica. If the play created a link between my mind and his, your shielding ability may allow me to use that link to find him. No. You're already weak from the plague, Yuan. This could kill you. Vivicar won't get the chance. I'll be between him and my master. It's our best chance to find Vivica. Do all female Jedi have the same Durasteel backbone? Very well, Yuan. But we will monitor the ritual, and your former Padawan must stay at your side. Thank you, Seo. I will go to the meditation chamber to prepare. Please meet me there when you're ready. Thank you for coming. I have made all the preparations for the ritual to find Lord Vivica. I plan to create a connection between us, using your shielding ability. If it is, was, Parcanus, this should work. Drawing on your strength, I will invert the link between myself and Vivica and use it to sense his location. Don't expose yourself to Lord Vivicar's influence longer than necessary. I won't, for your sake as well as mine. There are risks. For one, the shielding you gave me on Coruscant will be severed. I don't know what will happen then. It's possible I could die once your shield is gone. You must resist, Master Yuan. Don't give Vivicar another victory. With your strength to sustain me, we will do what we can. No matter what happens, you must give me as much time as possible. Reversing the link may be a long process. Let us begin. Yes, yes, it's working. I can feel his mind and... I can feel, I... She can feel the power that she's challenging. There is no hope. Jedi, you don't look as strong as you did last time we spoke. Yuan has drained your strength and made herself vulnerable to me. Still arrogant and reckless. You were once Parcanus Tark, a brave Jedi. You could be that man again. The past means nothing. All that matters is the future, which doesn't involve you. See how Yuan's will crumbles before mine. Fitting that two of my enemies will destroy each other. It... it worked. Listen, Lord Vivica, he's out in deep space on some sort of vessel. Here. Take the coordinates. He surrounded himself with defenses. Send this. It's his code. It will give you time to get aboard. No. The darkness. Vivica's will is too strong. I... I can't hold on. Please kill me. End it now. There's a better way, Master. Ah, oh, 
The darkness, it's gone. But you look exhausted. You have sacrificed so much for me. It's the Jedi way. I... I must rest. Please, go to Master Seo and the Council. They should hear of what we've learnt. The ritual was a success. Lord Vivicar is out in uncharted space. But he knows I'm coming. Now only your shielding talent can stop him. You've shown great fortitude and saved your master despite the odds. But Lord Vivicar will have made preparations, and he still has his greatest weapon. The plague. Now that I know who he really is, I could return Vivicar to the light. A noble thought. But don't take unnecessary risks. Your shielding ability is our only hope. Go to the coordinates quickly, before Vivicar strikes back. And Jedi, may the Force be with you. I wasn't sure if you'd be foolish enough to come aboard, Jedi. But I can sense your presence. Did the docking starship clue you in as well? You are blinded by the light side. You can't understand what you face. Come to me, Jedi. I'll show you how light can be snuffed out. Tell me, Jedi. What was it like, letting your life force drain away to shield a stranger from me? How did it feel? It hurt, but I endured it. Pain makes us stronger, and the pain I have endured is beyond your comprehension. That is why I have won. Really? Because I'm almost positive I'm still alive. If you need me to remind you of that, honey. Just ask. You will understand soon, if you live that long. Your power and tactics have got you this far, Jedi, but no further. This battle was decided before you stepped aboard. Lay down your lightsaber, and I'll show you mercy. Mercy is a weakness I have transcended. My plague isn't just a disease. It siphons power from its victims. With the proper rituals, that power can be channeled. Soon, the combined strength of your masters will make me the most powerful Force Adept who has ever lived. Turn away from this path, Parcanus. The Order can help you. Parcanus Tark died long ago. Even Vivica is merely a skin to be shed. Parcanus offered himself to me on Malachor III to crush the Order that destroyed us. He embodied my spirit. A Jedi healer put you down once. Now I can finish what he began. No one can oppose me. I am beyond flesh, beyond death. I will crush you, Jedi, and your shattered body will fuel my rebirth. Impressive, Jedi. You might even have triumphed, but my victory is already complete. My plague has spread farther than you can imagine. Jedi Masters across the galaxy are succumbing to it as I speak. The plague binds these Masters to me. Hundreds of them. The heart and soul of your order. Free those masters, Morhage. Now! 
And if I refuse, will you cut us down? Kill me, and you will kill every master I have ever infected. Everyone. Shielded or not, they are still bound to me. But what choice do you have? You cannot let me live, and I am deathless. Your shielding talent cannot harm me. You've lost. No matter what, Parcanus will be freed from you, Morhage. Still... alive. You spared me. I have to admit, I'm a little puzzled on that score myself. My mind is... clearer now. But... it was your duty to kill me and destroy Morge. Too many Jedi have been lost already, including Parcanus Tark. Yes, Parcanus was lost. But perhaps he deserves another chance. I cannot return to the Order. But Tython has its hidden places. Its forests. I could find peace there. I could... go home. But first, Jedi, listen. Take this warning in exchange for my life. You can't trust the Order. Or the Republic. You may be their heroine now. But they will abandon you, too. Remember that. We felt it. A massive shift in the Force. The Masters you saved have reported a sudden improvement in their condition. The plague is over. Thanks to you. And... I sent Parcanus Tark for the first time in many years. How can that be? When he comes back to Tython, he can answer all your questions. We persuaded the Republic to divert a starship to your location, just in case. The crew can bring Vivekar back to us. Thank you for all you have done. The Jedi Order owes its survival to you. Please, return to us on Tython. We wish to thank you in person, and we have a special reward for you. We've been awaiting your return. Please, step forward. You have saved untold lives through your defeat of Lord Vivica and the destruction of the plague. There's a title reserved for the most prestigious among us, whose wisdom and skill safeguard the galaxy. It hasn't been bestowed in thousands of years. But you have proved worthy. Now, the Council names you Barsan Thor, Warden of the Order. How many Jedi have been named Barsan Thor? In all our millennia of history, you will be the third to carry the title. And not a moment too soon. We have need of you. We have received word that the Republic is facing a new threat. I stand ready for anything, Master. We need time to prepare a war council. The Supreme Chancellor himself will be attending. Take time to rest. And you should record your journey in the Jedi Archives. History must know of your actions. Return to us when you feel ready. For now, the entire Order will know there is a new Barsenthor among us. Nothing like a well-deserved reward, eh, Jedi? It's no luxury cruise to Corellia, but still. That's quite the title you have. I feel like I should curtsy. There's still plenty of work for us, and I need your help. Are you in? Please, Jedi. Dr. Theron Sedrex never leaves a project unfinished. Well, without Vivicar's minion sounding us, the galaxy is vast and wide. 
shall we?